for school, for anything out there, and for my YouTube channel, I use three apps for taking notes. Notion, Keep Notes by Google, and Samsung Notes. Today, we're going to look at why I chose each of them and how I use them. Let's get started. Now let's start with Samsung Notes. That one I really just got it installed on my tablet when I bought it. It's a Samsung tablet, so yeah, that's how I got introduced to it. But it's been working well. I've been using it in school, in church, taking all sorts of notes for one major reason, because I can use my S Pen with it. It's literally the best app I could use my S Pen with for writing notes, scribbling anything, even drawing. And uh, it's much faster than typing for most guys. Even if you have a very high typing speed, still you can't beat actually taking notes using a pen. Some other nice features that it comes with as a benefit is number one, the cloud storage. All my notes that I've taken over the years since I got my tablet, probably three, four years now are accessible to me by just heading over to Samsung Notes on my tablet or even my Samsung account on my PC. Number two, it has quite a nice interface. I like it and of late they did a refresh which gives you some more intuitive features. Yeah, it looks good, literally. But Samsung Notes also comes with its own downsides. I think the biggest is how jittery it makes me feel imagining that at some point I'm like locked into Samsung. If I were to get another tablet from another company, maybe if I was to head over and get an iPad, I don't know what happens to my Samsung Note. So yeah, I think it does not stimulate as much confidence as Google Apps, for example, and that's where we head over to my second note taking app, Google Keep. I use Google Keep basically for quick notes. That is if I need to create a list of something or sometimes I'm reading a book or watching a video and I need to take down some quick notes. Maybe some ideas are getting shared. Maybe I need to take down some points. One of my favorite features in Google Keep is actually the list. I could actually use it for shopping lists where after making the list, you can actually take them out for whatever thing you bought or whatever you've accomplished and like you'd expect from any other Google app, Keep is simple, it's well polished and it's tied to your Google account. So anywhere, whether on a desktop or on a laptop or on your phone, wherever you can log into your Google account, you could probably use Google Keep over there. But again, as always, there are some cons. It's not as feature rich. I can't use my pen on it, for example. The main reason I use it for quick notes is just because, you know, it's very good on a phone. Unlike Notion, and I've made a whole video about Notion, so I'm not going to go into the depths of Notion and the nitty gritties, but as an overview, basically I use Notion mostly for managing my YouTube channel, writing scripts over there, uh, keeping lists of my videos. Notion is literally a workspace. It's much more than just an app for taking notes. So I mostly use it in sort of like a project setting where I actually have a big agenda to accomplish and there are some sub projects that would benefit from having their own pages. It's actually like a website in itself. So yeah, among the reasons I like it is number one, it feels quite professional. I like the way you can link ideas between notes. There's a very nice linking feature that I've talked about in that video about Notion. And it offers a lot of flexibility, be it multiple views and templates that you can download and use it. If you wanted to make a business plan, for example, there's a template for that. If you wanted to write a scientific paper or a CV, there is probably a template for that. So yeah, the depths of Notion are far reaching. But again, with that comes some disadvantages or some cons. And the biggest is there's quite some learning curve, like a friend of mine somehow just gave up despite being an engineer. Number two, and this is probably my biggest issue with Notion is the exporting feature. For example, sometimes I need to send whatever I've written to say my wife via WhatsApp. I need to do the export thing where it sends them a link. Instead of just copy pasting the stuff, they have to like download, you know, whatever file that I have exported from Notion. And lastly, there are the functions that come with the slash. It's quite genius how they implement it. But again, it's an issue when you are just typing and you need to use the slash. Maybe you just want to mean or, you know, potatoes slash mangoes. Once you type in that slash, it gives you all those options to choose from. So sometimes you don't really want to see options. You just want to say or you get. So yeah, those are the apps I use to take my notes. 
If you'd like more tips and tricks on how I take my notes personally for various situations, comment down below and in my future productivity and digital life videos, I'll be sure to include that. And on your way down there, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I don't want you missing any of my productivity and digital life videos that I upload every week. And if you found value in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys. See you in the next one. And as always, no pressure.